just don't cry. I should have made a burger before I did this so I could eat something. That's what happened last time. That's what happened last time, and we couldn't understand a word you were saying. Great, this hour stream. Anyway, welcome to the Potato Man Podcast. We, you know, we have a podcast today with our host, the cool dude of the Creeksters. Yo. Well, we were supposed to have that last time, but uh, say hi. Hey, what's up? What's up, fellas? What's up, gamers, gangsters? What's going on? What's, what's going on, pimps? What's now, going on? What's up, cool dude? We're here today to give man, you... Just, oh, go ahead. I just be chilling, man. What can I say? I just be chilling. Just finished this great movie from 1993. It's called The Pickle. Make sure to check out The Pickle, starring Danny Aiello. <laughs> great film. We'll make sure to do that. Now, today we're here to give you a proper interview, unlike last time where Grant started defending uh, everybody that went to the pedophile rape island yeah, Rugrats. that was you okay you're not innocent for no, grant grant like started like going off about it he's like or man actually choose tommy because he is stronger upper body yeah, let's not let's not point fingers <laughs> let's, let's, just, let's not let's not bring yeah. up the fact that he started defending pizzagate let's not <laughs> <laughs> i mean i know grant is like a common goer to comic ping pong ping pong pizza but let's not talk about it I thought you were going to call him a pinhead. <laughs> is that too? That's a classic insult. It is. I, I didn't even know pinhead was a medical term. I thought it was like bowling. Who you called him pinhead? <laughs> <laughs> you look like a bowling pin. You're a pinhead. Now we got a list of uh, of questions we have prepared. Yeah, and I've... Uh, uh, who wants I'm gonna, to go I'm first ask and pull the questions? I'm going to add one, but I don't have to ask it now. I do want to add one, though. Terry, you want to start? Uh, I mean, D, I think you should start off. Yeah, D started off. So, yeah. Okay. Now, last time we asked you if you uh, you believed in Bigfoot and foot. Do you believe in Chinese foot? Are his feet bound like Chinese people? Yes. I might have to believe him. If I ever go back to the Yangtze province, I, I might see him, you know, walking over the hills. I was there, uh, I was there a while ago. How was it over there? I saw all sorts of things. I don't want to get into it. <laughs> <laughs> does he have webbed toes or does he have nubs for feet like lego people no i think i think because he's got like chinese foot binding like his toes are like within the bottom of his sole <laughs> his feet are actually they're actually normal human size compared to a regular bigfoot yep oh okay cool potato next question next question oh this is a real question actually what is the origin story of the creeks there's uh the origin story of the Creeksters is, is uh, my friend, my friend Leo, a cool red guy, and the Creeksters. He's the little monkey in some of the thumbnails. Mm -hmm. He also is a little monkey, but let's not get into that. <laughs> uh, he, when I met him, he was uh, deathly. Is that fire audible? What? What? You just he just farted. Keep on going. Keep on going. Keep on going. Keep on. What's wrong with you, man? Can we turn up the audio two hundred percent? Can we bass boost it? <laughs> Can we base boost the audio? Can we get an instant replay? <laughs> can we have the editor base boost the audio 200%, please? Yeah, can you slow it down for fucking Doc? Like, base yeah, boosted impact boost. replay. Can we get the splat cam, too? Mm -hmm. Thank you. It's disgusting. Anyways. <laughs> All right. the, the origin story. Words are funny. The origin story. You, you like feet? You find deep, you, you find feet funny? What's wrong? With I'm muting you. Yeah, keep on going. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Keep on going. Anyway. <laughs> What's wrong with you people? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? No one's ever asked us that. No, no one's ever asked us that. No one's ever asked us that. I'm sitting, uh, I'm sitting here with like four slokes. I'm sitting in a trailer. <laughs> uh, a fire pit smoking. <laughs> it's four with you, straight man. years of Tom Myers. That's what happened. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yo, we made America. Yo, potato, pass the adrenochrome, bro. Can you crack open that baby? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> this actually works. Uh, filtered or unfiltered cigarettes? Ew. You have to pick. What are you, a liberal? <laughs> Gross. Help. I smoke my American spirits. Okay, we got it. Are you a pussy that uses a filter Sorry. or not? Homosexuals only smoke clove cigarettes. What about them cloves? Yeah. Anyways, um, the origin story of the Creeksters. Finally. When I met my friend Leo, he was deathly obsessed with this kid's cartoon show called Craig of the Creek. Plastic. But he's never watched it. He's never 
He's never seen a single second of it. He just loves like rocking back and forth and saying, "I'm creaking, I'm creaking, <laughs> I'm creaking out." Yeah. So like every call, every time we talk, devolves into him being like, "I'm gonna creak, I'm gonna creak." And then we start. We just started recording us playing video games to because we think like you know our conversations and stuff are funny. So the most obvious choice for a name was Creakstairs. It's a good name. It's like we're creaking, man. We're, we're creaking out. They should have called it. We got to get them to the creek. You know what I'm saying? Instead of the, the Greek. Yeah. Starring our co-star Russell. Bring Brand. me the creek. Bring me to the creek. Well, do, do you know about? Do you know the movie? Uh, bring him to the creek, or whatever the fuck it's called. I'm vaguely aware. I recognize the get, title. Get him to the Greek. Yeah, because we interviewed Russell Brand. So. No, what we did my movie. big fat creek wedding. Think about that. Big fat creek wedding, indeed. <laughs> Dog asking this question. I don't understand it, so. You can uh, okay, potato. Ask the next question. I'll ask the next next. Uh, one under cigarettes. It reads, <laughs> it reads like fucking <laughs> a five year old's film essay. <laughs> on William Free. Oh, is that cigarette question a real question? Yeah. Yes. Uh, question. Oh, the only thing I've been smoking recently is uh, Lucky cigarettes. I get um normal one uh, hundreds, so just the normal kind. I'm not much of a cigarette smoker though. Last gotcha. time we talked to you, you uh, struck up a lucky. It was yeah. a bit of an entrance. No, I noticed you're not doing that this time. I only have four cigarettes left, and they're reserved for the bathroom. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> if you're not a smoker, you don't understand the simple pleasure of smoking while you're shitting. It feels so good. Real. Uh, I get you. Okay. Go on, read your essay. Are you a return to the empire? Ro return to the Roman Empire guy, or Rhodesia was actually good guy? And who can't read? And he can't write. Uh, I don't know if you know this. I founded my own political party <laughs> called the Roman Party yeah. two years ago, <laughs> <laughs> which was based on uh, uh, restructuring the federal government in more of a Tenth Amendment Federalist style to recreate something along the lines of the structure of the 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 system of Diocletian where every state was basically its own independent entity that was only informally unified by this greater thing so I'm more of a return to Roman Empire guy I don't know that much about Rhodesia uh, they have a one good song I know that <laughs> <laughs> what a time it was <laughs> uh, so the story goes that you're in a little game called Friday Night Funkin is this true this is true, and uh, and then the uh, the question goes on to ask. Please expand if true. It is inflate. What? No. <laughs> That's what meant. UDC said, "Please inflate." <laughs> I don't want my bike pump out of storage. Inflate your fucking bike pump. You want me to pop a couple blueberries? What's going on, big guy? <laughs> Oompa loompa doopa dee doo. <laughs> Yes, I am in a little video game called Friday Night Funkin. I am in, I believe, it's called Week 5. It's a Santa Claus theme level. I'm in the back, top back left of the background. You'll see my funny little character next to some other people I don't even know. How many shekels did you pay to be in Friday Night Funkin? Uh, How'd you swing that? Uh, I'm friends with one of the people who did it, and we were just in a call, and he drew... He drew everyone in the server in the back top row, and, then, and all of them were removed except for me and him. In the screenshot. I want to see it. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll show you a screenshot. Do I have it. a screenshot? Let me check my folder of pictures of myself. Hold on. Yeah, I showed it to my sister. I was like, um, yeah, look, that's, that's the real cool dude. Yeah, this is me. This is what I look like in the game in the background. I'm next to one of the creators, and on the other side is the character Blockhead from Blockhead. Mm. Coincidentally, one of my favorite Newground series, so shout out Blockhead. Sweet. Are you a big John Acrum fan? You love, are you a John Acromer, as they say? I don't think you can be in a John Acromer if you're a cigarette smoker. <laughs> Those two things are not really fun. Yeah, I think they cancel each other out. <laughs> I'm more of a lung cancer guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damn straight. What's your favorite Creekster's bit? My favorite Creekster's bit of all time. I have to think. Hold on. Um, that is a hard question. We have like 46 videos that I have to go through. I have to think. Oh, which one? Which one's the fun? A lot of my favorites aren't even out yet. We have a Google Drive full of the unedited, uh, like raw footage. But my favorite that's on the channel right now. 
Oh, it's, it's probably when we were doing Hamas vids and then the Grinch lets play. Oh, classic, classic. Where, where it's, it's Toy Story, but it's Israel Story. And he's like, boss, look, a Palestinian! Mmm, Gaza strips. Oh, <laughs> yeah. We were watching that earlier today. It's really good. I love the... Uh, the Matt Walsh bluey bit where he's like picking up his children, throwing them out of the way so he can watch bluey. That's a good one. Uh, I love when we were bullying our friend Splat because he was losing over and over again at M and M's. And this is, a, this is a little behind the scenes because we bullied him so hard in that video. He's like, I don't, I don't want to do Creeksters anymore, and that's why he's never real. <laughs> Damn. There's a Creekster scandal. Scandal. There's some drama. There's some drama on this Greek fellow. You, you won't believe On the yeah. congruency of favorites, uh, what's your favorite Nostalgia Critic mm -hmm. episode, and why? I've said it before, I'll say it again. Uh, when I was a kid and I watched Nostalgia Critic, I didn't watch his reviews. I only watched his top 11s. Damn. Hardcore fan. And in that regard, my favorite top 11 video is probably like... Top 11 South Park episodes. Top That's 11... A uh, That's a good one. Big lipped alligator moments. Very good. You're obsessed with Rugrats. You need to stop. That's checking you to see. I just like to so. find it funny. So bring it back up. Yeah, because you feel guilty. You're, you're gleaming while you're talking. It's such a bad bit, and I'm bringing it back. <laughs> My favorite bit is the one that makes me look like a pedophile. Okay, you need to see. Calm down. <laughs> 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 that's why that's my favorite funny. is the one they put me on a watch list <laughs> then we have that bit that's like UDC's gonna get arrested and it's like oh. they're like UDC's in a court and it's like well it was it, it's not it's not child pornography why did you start with like a like a Bill Cosby in for the year? <laughs> why do you think where is what do you think I did not because I'm implying UDC's Bill Cosby I did not chop up and kill those children <laughs> Oh, speaking of potato, you gotta ask this next one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hawk Taw Girl or Chewbacca Mom? Hawk Taw. Who got the better pussy? <laughs> Hawk Taw, are you kidding? <laughs> no, nah, the, the, the Chewbacca, Chewbacca Mom. Chewbacca Mom. Goes bro, come on. Chewbacca Mom's ran through. <laughs> Chewbacca Mom's all. She's, she's nothing. She is nothing to me, okay? Hawk Taw is my life. I wouldn't be. The question is basically hairy or shaved. Shaved. You can't. You can't assume. Damn. Don't assume now. I'm gonna be slipping and sliding in there, shaved. I'd be getting rug burn. <laughs> how do you, How do you know Hawk Tua is shaved? She might not. Cause she spit on that thing. Didn't you listen to Talk Tua? She, she knows how. Our to number go. one competitor. She, 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 yeah, I did actually today. I. What'd you think? As our number one competitor, I took it upon myself to take at least five minutes out of my day and listen to that absolute piece of shit. Yeah, I got about <laughs> ten minutes, and I was like, "That's this is the worst thing I've ever heard." They won't let it go. They won't let it go. That's all they actually talk about. They pretend to have a serious conversation with someone, and then it's two brawn, it's two brain rotted girls going, "Ah, cool, let's spit on the thing." Uh -huh. It's a it's a good gag. It's a good gag. Oh yeah, what is your relationship with Stamper, and how do you know him? Just ask, I know you've told me, but I'm asking for the podcast because it'd be my my relation yeah, with Stamper TV, aka William Stamper. The first time I ever interacted with him, I was about 14 or 15 years old on Twitter, and this was back when he still had his original account before he was suspended. And I just, I replied to one of his tweets with like something like not that bad, or it's just like, it's like, this is stupid. Like, I don't remember what I said, but his response was to DM me a picture of his penis in his boxers. Uh, <laughs> and he's like, oh, why don't you suck on this thing, big boy? <laughs> Damn. And you still that was saved. the first time I ever interacted with Stamper, and then, uh, nope, <laughs> nope. He got banned from Twitter. He went into the wilderness for a period, and then one day I got invited to his Discord server, like about two and a half years ago, two and a half, maybe only two years ago. And I would join the calls, and he would just be sitting in there playing fire fighting games by himself, and he would have his webcam on, and he's just like. He's one of the most wildly entertaining human beings that's ever lived. I mean, this is, you can see it through his videos, but like just one on one in person with this guy, he's still wildly entertaining. I remember I was in a call with him and he was like talking to some random guy in a server and he, he stood up and he pulled his pants down and showed his ass and his balls from the bag. He's like, oh, why don't you fuck me, big boy? 
<laughs> I would like to say for the record, Snapper is 42 years old. Oh, shit. Damn. Damn some hairy ones. Recently, he made a new Twitter account, and he was like my mutual, and he would reply to all of my tweets. And then he got banned again because he called someone either the N-word or the <laughs> the the F-slur. So I don't know. I don't know. But, but you're allowed to say, aren't you? The last time we talked, you said that uh, you can actually get away with that. I'm allowed to say the f- word? Wait, of what? Course. Hey. Sure. What's up, Potato? What's up, buddy? I'm like, you hey, like- you're, you're not like a woman. <laughs> I'm not a woman. <laughs> <laughs> okay, because you're close enough. Oh, well, dude, I'll tell you this. There's, there's, there are certain types of gay people we tolerate on here on the Potomac podcast. There's all these certain types. <laughs> not the Clint, not the Clint Eastwood type. No, 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 no. As long as you're a man, you're fine. We allow Doc D and Potato Man. That's all we allow. We allow, we allow regular gay people. <laughs> no lesbians are allowed on the podcast. Not, we don't like flamers. That's been the uh, well, me neither. I don't know if you knew this. I actually hate them. I fight them on sight. I've actually broken quite a few jaws. Hell yeah. Like Ron yeah. Selma. Well, oh, dude, are, are you an otter or a bear? Have you ever listened to Peter <laughs> Frankel by Weed? <laughs> 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 okay. First of all, Potato, oh, potato Man just asked me if I listened to a Weezer song. And then you follow it up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's wrong with you guys? <laughs> well, you're the only one here who's like. Seen like Stanford. Yeah, what's your fursona? He doesn't have a fursona. I don't have one of those. That that's my webcam you're looking at. That's me. This this a real live feed. You need to fucking shave. God damn. You're ugly. You are the Man. fucking Bigfoot or whatever. <laughs> you're stupid, you're ugly, and I don't like you. Oh, you make me so much. Hey, 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 look at me. Hey, hey, look at me. Don't fucking talk to me like that again. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, okay, Potato Man, what we yeah. saw? You ask me for this? <laughs> is Gerald's hands good, and is it worth watching? It is worth watching. Is it good? Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. That's all I'll say. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's good in the way that um, it's a good move. It's good in the way that if you're starving, a uh, McDonald's hamburger is good. <laughs> 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 Good analogy. I've heard many things about this movie on the uh, creasers. Uh, Gerald's hands is my friend Cricket's favorite. Movie. <laughs> For our viewers at home who are not quite familiar, would you just give us a quick rundown on what Gerald's hands is? So there's a little film which came out in 2022 called Gerald's Hands, mm-hmm. which is an independent film made in Atlanta, uh, Georgia. In case you don't know. Oh, oh, you can tell from watching it. <laughs> <laughs> it it's a straight to two V film, and I believe the budget it was about one thousand five hundred dollars. <laughs> that's that's very. <laughs> Which generous. is more than some YouTube movies. It's a film about a severely developmentally disabled. You can say it. I think he's supposed to be like 25, 30 year old man, but the actor is visibly like late 40s and like. He old. He's wearing like a wig because he has no hair. <laughs> he's got like JFK like crow's feet around his eyes. He's really scary looking. He lives in the ghetto with his mother in an apartment and his mom dies and he doesn't. <laughs> know what to do about it so she's just like dead in his ap- so he just like lives by himself and his ghetto neighbor is like man this retarded guy is annoying <laughs> <laughs> but then the, his neighbor's like girlfriend is like a, a black woman named uh, Shaban- Shabana but Gerald calls her Sabana and she's like hmm, he's, he's actually kind of chill though he's, he's kind of cool I, I think I think this retarded guy's awesome damn she about to make a name for her and they become like best friends but like her boyfriend's <laughs> abusive like beats her up damn oh no I have to watch her for a movie night <laughs> I don't want to spoil the ending but it has a very tragic conclusion it's, it's so very- it's basically a modern adaptation of To Kill a Mockingbird uh minus the the whole trial part yeah it's it's more like a modern adaptation of of mice and men. Oh, mm-hmm. so it should be studied in high school. Is that what you're saying? Shabana is practically uh, that one guy's wife. So just saying. Okay, we got yes, Curly's wife. I think okay, it 
Doc, you want to ask this? I'm trying to protect my film career. Oh, that was a scarily good Grant impression. <laughs> that was good. I actually thought you joined. <laughs> Listen, man, I'm trying to protect my career, okay? I'm not going to talk about that. Let's move on. All right. So, uh, the Freemasons and the Elders of Zion, <laughs> which side are you on? Freemasons. And remember, please, that, that we, we are, are Israel's number one podcast. I don't believe in racism here. Uh, I've been to the Bohemian Grove, and mm-hmm. I am a member of the Knights of Columbus, and that's my answer. Nice. There's a holy war going on, and you're sitting there with a sword up your ass? <laughs> There's a war going on, a holy war. <laughs> but it feels so good sitting on that fence, though. <laughs> you're a three fence sitter. Kill yourself. And I love it. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> I wouldn't have it any other way, buddy. D, ask the next question. What's up? Is Stone Toss secretly Shorky? I've met Stone Toss. Uh, this is a matter of public record. I, you, I was in a Discord group chat with him at one point, and he drew my character. I can provide the picture if you'd like. Oh, please. Yeah. Hold on. You spit the thumbnail? <laughs> you want to spit the thumbnail? Yes. Yeah, this is this is Stone Toss's oh. drawing of me. This is a, <laughs> an authentic Stone yeah, Toss. Wow, well, that's beautiful. Lovely line. Okay. Cinema. Thank you. You should just use that as your profile. <laughs> I can't. I can't. That can't be my reputation because I'm not a chud. Uh, it's going to be like Grant, like, I will not sacrifice my, my film I'm, career. I'm not going to give up everything that I've <laughs> I want to put stupid Mario Brothers down on the beach. <laughs> In the group chat, he never called. He never spoke. I don't know what he sounds like. I don't know if he's schmorky. What if he's just, you know, he has the little voice, the schmorky voice. He's like, um, I, just, I just drew your character and I thought it would look really awesome. Um, could you please use this as your icon? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I hate you. Goodbye. No, you're p- politically retarded. I don't want to talk to you. You're an alt-right bigot and a fascist, and I don't want to associate with you, Nazi. Get away from me. I'm slightly left of center. I don't know if you knew that. Circling back to your late great impression of the Grant from Savages character, uh, who would win in a fight? You or Grant? You or him? Me. I'm six foot and I work out. I'd kill him. Grant's seven foot. (laughs) Grant. (laughs) I'm actually seven foot two inches. uh... (laughs) The funniest thing is that you get taller every time I talk to you. (laughs) Grant is big foot. I'm just I'm just a growing young boy. What can I say? I he like was a big stove hat. <laughs> I just get bigger. I'd like to follow up with that. Is um, what's your secret? How do you grow? He's like a plant. He has like his little uh, flowers. I just choose to. <laughs> <laughs> you just press the up button. He drinks his milk. If you just think I am bigger now, I guess you are. <laughs> you know what? I'm a foot taller now. What can I say? You didn't notice it, but it happens. How much do you gel? <laughs> What if everybody else manifests a reality where it's like you're like two feet tall? Is it like Goku logic? Like where? Well, I'll just go in the hyperbolic time chamber and train and grow for seven thousand years, and I'll come out like in a Jack and the Beanstalk. What are you talking about? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna kill every single person who does that to me. If you make me shorter, if you leprechaunize me, I will kill you. I will flay this skin from your body. <laughs> I will whittle you down until you are nothing but bones, and then burn you until you are nothing but ash to scatter in the breeze. You are my enemy, and you will be destroyed. That's what I think. Hyperborea? Did they teach you that in the Boy Scouts? They taught me that in uh, acting school. <laughs> They're like, if you want to be a good actor, you just need to randomly talk about how you're going to kill people. Nice. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> Apparently, that's what they call an Oscar-worthy performance. You either have to be able to cry in command or tell people you're going to kill them. That's what makes oh, right. Daniel Day-Lewis so good. But, no, I still I still have a question. I, Doc has a question. He's like, can, can you sign know. my autograph, please? Yeah, can you sign, can you sign my thigh <laughs> right here? Uh, I don't know. Are you a beautiful man? I don't know. I'm a He's a beautiful little otter. Stop cocking. Why would I sign? Why would I sign a hairy thigh? You wouldn't be able to see it, <laughs> idiot. Oh, I got shaved legs. I shaved my legs. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, you're gay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we already knew that. <clears throat> no, but I did. I did write uh, a last, uh, right, a the last question. That what razor do you use? Little chatting. Uh, the pink ones, the pink plastic ones, because I pay girly pop tax. The, van- the Venus, <laughs> <laughs> 
Harry, Harry is dude. It's fucking better. You know, I heard I heard from one of my effeminate friends that uh, I think the the three blades are better on the skin than the uh, five blades, but I don't know. I don't shave. I don't know. I don't cut myself. You don't even shave your face. I shave my face, but I use a straight razor. Damn. <laughs> you like to like shit. <laughs> you like to shave off your nipples. <laughs> This guy is just entertaining himself. Why do we even have you on the podcast? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> when you laugh, the world laughs with you. What can I say? He's having a great time. He's having a gay old time. Almost so cool. I have you turned all the way up and you sound like, Itty be quiet. He's like, <laughs> he's, he's a little pixie. He's a little elf. I'm a little Tinkerbell on his shoulder. <laughs> all right. What was the last question? Potato Man has said like three sentences on his own podcast, by the way. <laughs> I know. When I pull up the diagram of how much people talk in each episode, <laughs> Potato has the smallest amount. Can we just like mute his track? And then... No, we'll mute your track. No, because then we're going to all sound schizophrenic. I think he's like crying into a burger right now. Or is he eating a chicken sandwich? You always have to eat food on the podcast, oh. Potato. Oh, eating eating during the fuel. recording. I'm so unprofessional. Awesome. It's my goddamn podcast. I'll do as I please. Amen. I'll ask your question. Oh, okay. My question is doesn't even have a question mark at the end of it. Mm -hmm. It's one word, but there's a catch to my question. Okay. Uh, please read your response. Hold on. I'm reading my notes. Please read your response in your best Donald Trump impression. Mm -hmm. My question is Bartleby. <laughs> Give me a second. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> <laughs> when you ask of the great classics of uh, Western literature, one story comes to the front. It's not Paradise Lost, okay? It's not a. Uh, Dante's Inferno, the great Dante. No, it's Herman Melville's. Uh, it's kind of a sleeper hit if you think about it. It's called Bartleby the Scrivener. Now, I don't, I don't know if you know what a scrivener is. It's uh, somewhat of a, a lost art. It's a thing they don't really do anymore. But uh, what matters is in two thousand one, great year, except for that uh, one thing. Great year. They adapted the story Bartleby the Scrivener into a feature film, something of a, a hit with the Tubi audience. I love Tubi, folks. We all love Tubi. Frankly, the most democratic streaming service. Mr. President, are you but, making Tubi free in 2025? Yes. That is my favorite part of Project 2025. To be in every household. <laughs> but Bartleby, starring the great Crispin Glover. You know, Crispin Glover. He had a great career. He was the... Uh, in Friday the 13th, the day we're recording this, coincidentally. Friday the 13th, part four, he did a silly dance, and it was wildly entertaining. True. And he was... Uh, George McFly. I don't know if you've heard of the great, the late great George McFly. He didn't come back in the sequel. They killed him. <laughs> but uh, he plays Bartleby, and the story of Bartleby is he would prefer not to, and that's okay. That's something <laughs> of an uh, American idea, you know? They say, I want you to do this work. You say, I would prefer not to, and that's okay. They can't force you. And that's what we love about this country, folks. They can't make you do it. They really can't. They said, they said, Trump, oh, we want you to, we want you to invade Iran. John Bolton said that. I said, I would prefer not to. I said, I would prefer not to. <laughs> Does that answer your question? <laughs> oh my God, I'm wiping tears off my face. We don't have to clip that. <laughs> oh. Cool, dude. That answers my question <laughs> tenfold. <laughs> Thank you. Special guest Donald Trump. How, where did he come from? <laughs> where, did that orange, where did that orange fascist come from? That big, oh. all that lovable skin. <laughs> we love that guy. Oh, my. Bartleby, Trump Bartleby. How, yep. can you hate an, how can you hate an elderly man? Come on. I definitely know who I'm voting for in 2025. <laughs> uh, wow. Bartleby, 2024. <laughs> <laughs> 
Trump Bartleby. J.D. Vance is kind of like the new Bartleby. <laughs> yeah, he would prefer not to do anything. <laughs> if you think about it. If you think of mm. I think that's this uh, podcast's little slogan that we have is, uh, if you think about it, you can always get out of work by saying, mm, I prefer not to. But, you know, if you think about it, if you think about anything hard enough, yeah, it's true. If you think about it. I used to work at uh, Boeing, and they asked me to install these safety <laughs> features in planes, and I just said I would prefer not to. And they're like, okay, what are they going to do? What are they going to do, fire me? I'll, I'll kick up a huge stink, and nobody would like it. So true. So true. I heard some people died, but that's on them. Kind of a skill issue if you're down there playing it. Potato, you want to you, you wanna bring this to a close? We'll wrap this up. Oh, uh, yeah. It's your podcast. That's true. Ours now, dude. Uh, You're sleepy. I was thinking all snoozers. <laughs> you were sleepy? Sleepy potato, man. Oh. Sleepy potato, we man. He can't even remember. We call him the sleepy potato. Sleepy potato. You know why he's we call just, him? He's just sitting at his desk, eating a burger, and he's already falling asleep. He's <laughs> like, it's nap time. You know, he's something of a couch potato. You know, it's in the name. It's in the name, folks. It is in the name. You oh. hate to judge a book by its cover, but I mean, look at him. Oh, well, I actually sleep on the hard, like, wooden floor, but, you know. You struck me as more of a tile floor kind of guy. Sad. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I, I don't want to hear about your... Uh, I'm more of a I'm more of a mattress on carpet I, kind I of guy talk. myself. <laughs> Listen, there's a... I can, I, you know, my podcast. Only on... Oh, I get... <laughs> Don't talk to Doc like that. This is this potatoes podcast. Oh, all right. Okay. We're, we're, it's going to turn to a civil war in a minute. Yeah, I'll start this up. Come on, right. spit it out, big guy. <laughs> Today, Jeremy, <Junior>, come on. <laughs> hey, minute, that's all, folks. Now, this has been the podcast. Um, I, I, I would like to thank Cool Dude for coming on to our, our very, very awesome and uh, Jewish podcast. Thank you very much. You're welcome. You know, do you guys have any last words before I, I say the last? No, no, no really. but thanks for coming on the show again, cool dude. Uh, we respect your uh, re- Thank you. <laughs> uh, We appreciate you uh, putting up with our. Yeah, I've been working on it for many years now, so I'm glad my my efforts been like appreciated. Training. I've been training. <laughs> it's something of a weight I put on my brain every day. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude! Make sure to subscribe to the series. Make sure to watch the pickle from 1993. Will do. Thank you. Oh, for sure. Yeah, but no, but we really appreciate you coming on again. And, um, yeah, we hope to see you again, man. It was really fun having you on. Thanks. Anytime you want, anytime you want, uh, I'll be on. We'll definitely actually have you on. We'll do another shitty. It'll be awesome. Go on, Potato Man. And uh, to our audience at home, please check out the Creeksters. We'll link sure below. C-R-E-E-K-S-T-E-R-S. One word. New videos whenever Spooko stops being lazy. True. Thank you. <laughs> and good night. Au revoir, Shoshana. Welcome to the Potato Man podcast and welcome to the revolution. Good night.